Today's show is all about varenicas, and varenicas are like a ravioli, a dumpling. So what you have here are blueberries and mashed potatoes and onions. The sour cream goes with the blueberries and the melted butter with the mashed potato and onions. I'm going to walk you through the steps. They're very simple. And just remember, try it because it's a great summer treat. Let's begin. The first thing in preparing these varenicas is to take and peel your potatoes and cut them in thin slices. And that's just what I'm doing now. This is russet potatoes and you can decide the potato you prefer, but I find that these come out very well. And I take and fry up some chopped onions and add it to the mix with a little bit of margarine and it is terrific. Crisscross it vertically both ways and then take and turn it over and you'll see nice small quarter to one eighth inch pieces to saute for the potato mix. An easy way to mash your potatoes is use a shallow dish, a bowl, and as you see right here, I have the potatoes pretty well mashed, and then I'm going to take some singed little onions and add them to the mix. So this, this looks good. Okay, you see the chopped onions are now starting to brown a little bit, and you want to get them to the golden stage. They're starting to do that now. And I'll take and transfer this over to the potatoes. And what I like to do is get out as much of the oil as possible because I'm going to add some margarine or buttery spread to the mix. That looks good. So I take this and just add it in. And then I have a spoonful of buttery spread and I'll take and blend it in. And the potato mix will be all set for when I show you how to make the Veronica dough. There. For the blueberries, I rinsed everything off and took a quarter of a cup so that I can mash these a little bit. I just squeeze them out and let them, um, it's sort of like the bleeding process. And you'll mix them in with another few cups of the uh, blueberries. So that's that. And now what we're going to do is take 
this, we're going to put this in a bowl and add the mashed blueberries to it. Now I add sugar and a little bit of flour, not too much. And just blend it in and you're ready with your, make sure the stems are out, and you're ready with the fillings, the potatoes, and the blueberries. Now we're going to put the Varenicas together. I have the flour, egg, and water all mixed, the dough rolled out, so let's begin. What I have here, I use a four inch glass and I make my circles. And usually what I like to do is I like to stretch them out a little bit and make them a little bit larger. So I'll start with these two just to give you a sample. Take and roll it both ways and that should be fine. And then I'll do another one. Roll both ways. Now I usually take about a tablespoon of the mix, sort of a scant tablespoon. That should be enough. And fold it over, pinch, around the edges and in order to ensure that the Varenica is closed, I take a fork and I pinch it on both sides. And so when it goes into boiling water, it will stay shut. And there's the first one. Now I'll do another one, another potato. So you'll just get an idea of how it works up easily. Now see how it does shut pretty well? And you're doing this to secure it. And you don't have to be fussy, it'll be fine. Now I'd like to show you how to do it with the blueberries. So I take another one and two. And the same thing, stretch it both ways. And with the blueberries, I did mash a few. If you'd like to mash a few more in the pot, that's fine. And in order to absorb the moisture, you can take and sprinkle it with a little bit more flour. And that will take up some of the water. Take a nice spoonful Put it in the middle, and I'll do it on this one the same. Okay, and take and fold it up the same way you did with the potatoes. And I just want to wipe my hand or else I'll get purple all over the outside. There's one. And here's two. And the same thing, take a fork and pinch the blueberry might be a little bit messier, but oh, it is so good. 
and you can dip it in sour cream or just have it the way it is, or sprinkle a little sugar. And I'll show you what it's like right to the very end. Okay. Be very gentle about placing them in because you don't want them to open up. So I usually put them on a spatula just to gently let them immerse. And you wait till it comes to a boil a second time and let it maybe simmer for about 15 minutes or until you see them floating on top. So you see how they're floating to the top now, and you want to very gently take them out. And I've prepared the plates with a little oil spray for the blueberries and some butter or buttery spread for the potatoes. And they stayed closed, as you can see. So here we have the blueberry verenicas and the potato. And if you see in front of me, I have some sour cream and melted butter. So here's one and here's the potato. And I'll show you, I usually take just a little bit on the side for the sour cream. And with the melted butter, I drip it over it. And this is how it looks on the inside. And here's the blueberry. So see how you've got nice, nice texture. And I will try a potato bite. Mmm. The onions make it absolutely delicious. And it really is an easy recipe, great for summer dinners. and try it within the next month because I'm sure you will absolutely love it. I know my husband loves it. I know he's waiting to try it. So I will say so long for now. See you next time.